Hey there, Natalie here, and today I'm going to be talking about comparing yourself to other people. This is something that you may be doing consciously or unconsciously, and either way, it's a recipe for disaster. <laughs> and today we're going to talk about why. So in this video, you're going to learn about how our brain analyzes information. You're going to learn what the judgment comparison trap is how judging yourself affects you, and I've added a bonus in this video so that you can download my self-confidence meditation. Comparing and judging is something that we do all the time, and it's something that we grew up doing from the time we were very, very young. We had to analyze the world around us, so when we started to learn what the difference was between an apple and a banana, between the color green and the color red, what was a truck and what was a car. You know, it, judging and comparing things allowed us to learn language, knowing which word to use with what, and also how to act around our friends, around our family and in society. We learned what good behavior was and bad behavior was. So we were constantly analyzing and judging things in life. This whole concept and idea of comparison is something that is very natural from us for, for us at a very young age because it's how we learn to live and view the world around us. What is the judgment comparison trap? So if you look at this diagram that I've drawn on the board here, we've got a few different little people stacked on different pedestals. This one here is you, okay? or me in this situation if I'm talking about myself. But this is you right here. Now, anytime we idolize someone else, maybe there's someone out there that's doing something that you want to be doing, whether it's career or where they're living, or maybe just someone that you're like, gosh, I wish I had their talent. I wish I sang like Christina Aguilera, whatever it may be. You are putting someone else higher than yourself. Now you may think, well, that's not a bad thing. Obviously, Christina Aguilera has a better voice than I do. But what you do when you compare yourself to other people is you're actually putting yourself down. We need to be in a state of mind where we're actually thinking of everyone in the world as equal, whether they're older than you, younger than you, come from a different culture, different society, different you know, economic status, Seeing people as equal is extremely important for creating empathy and understanding. The second you put someone above or below you, you no longer see eye to eye and you begin to judge them. So by judging other people, it closes you off from being open to understanding them and their perspective, who they are, how they were brought up, and you start to create a wall and a barrier between yourself and others. Now, the same goes for when you put someone else down. If you see someone as beneath you, maybe they don't have the same amount of education, you don't see their career as something as good as yours, or you know whatever it is, you see them as someone below you, then you're putting them down which is not a good thing. To be judging other people in the world, not only are you projecting negative energy onto them, but you're projecting a higher self for you, which is really only feeding your ego, but it doesn't benefit you in any way. We wanna come from a place in life where we are all just on the same playing field. We don't need to be lifting ourselves up or breaking ourselves down. We are all amazing people with amazing gifts in this world. And to come from a place of understanding is to know that, hey, you know, we all were not raised the same way with the same parents and the same morals and the same ideals and the same lessons that allowed us to all be equals in that sense. But we're all humans and we were all born into this world with whatever God gave us. And to come from that place of understanding that everyone was programmed differently with different lessons in life, then you can understand that just because someone does something that you don't like, 
or maybe they don't live up to the same standards that you live your life to, doesn't make them any worse than you. And just because someone has more talent or you know a different life path than you doesn't make them better than you either. We all are worthy and we all are loved. And to judge others, whether good or bad, that's only coming from a place of a lack of awareness and a place of ignorance. So we want to learn to stop judging people because not only does it hurt other people, but it also ends up hurting yourself in the end. And if you can start to let go of that, then you can let go of this roller coaster that you're on of lifting yourself up and putting yourself down and lifting yourself up and putting yourself down all the time and instead come from a place of everyone on this planet isn't equal, whether they're two years old or 90 years old, it doesn't matter. We're all here with the same purpose to live out our lives and find some enjoyment, love, and just be in our own power and live life to the fullest extent of whatever that may be for each individual. The way I wanna live out my life and step into my power is gonna be very different than the way you choose to live your life and step into your own power. And that's okay. Our life paths, just because they're different, doesn't mean mine's better or yours is better. It just is what it is. And once we come to that understanding and that acceptance in life, we can create a lot less stress and a lot less buildup of ups and downs. You become more empathetic, more understanding. You let go of some of that ego and you come into a, a place of truth versus a place of ignorance. How is judging yourself affecting you? So whether you're in a place where you're lifting someone else or putting other people down, you're putting a wall and a barrier between you and other people. It's putting a wall of understanding, a lack of empathy, and it's coming from a place of ignorance. It affects you because it, it creates this distance. Instead of being connected with those around you and having some understanding, you end up seeing yourself as separate from others. Either way, you end up creating a disconnect and it's coming from a place of lack of power. When you put other people above you, it's affecting you because then you feel like you're not good enough. And therefore you're holding yourself back from stepping into your power. You know, if you want to sing like Christina Aguilera, but you're like, oh, I'm never going to be good enough. You're not going to try. You're coming from a place of fear and you're not going to be embracing the voice that God gave you. You may have an amazing voice, but you never allowed yourself to go there because you're always comparing yourself to someone else instead of allowing yourself to step into the full breadth of who you are. And the same and equal is true of putting other people down. The second you put other people down to lift yourself up and think of yourself as better than other people, you're also creating separation. When you put yourself above someone else, you think you're just good enough, but it's coming from a place of ego and that will also hold you back from becoming even more in your own power than what that ego is. That ego is not coming from a place of power. It's coming from a place of negative control over other people. And it's coming from a, a dark place where putting other people down temporarily allows you to feel like you're being lifted up. But it's temporary and it's fleeting and it's not real and it's not true. So either way, whether you're comparing yourself to be higher or lower, it's a trap. It's a judgment trap that is never gonna get you to where you wanna be. So start to embrace this concept of letting go of comparison. Yes, we need to know the difference between colors and fruits and vegetables and all those things that we learned when we were kids. And we do have to organize our thoughts in a way that allow us to understand the world around us. But comparing ourselves to other people is something that we can start to let go of. Once we become aware of it, it allows you to be in your power. It allows you to be you in a much fuller sense and it allows you to be there for all of those around you it creates stronger connections between you and the people in your life and it allows you to grow in a very fulfilling way so i hope this video helped you and gave you some some concepts and ideas to start to think about and start to be aware of in your own life 
don't forget to download the bonus. I've got it in the description below so you can go in and download my self-confidence meditation. It's only seven minutes long and it's absolutely wonderful. Start listening to it on a daily basis start to build your own confidence, to be more understanding, to be more empathetic and to step into your own power in a very positive way. If you enjoyed this video, please like it, comment and share. I would love if you subscribe to this YouTube channel so you can get updates on more videos like this, how to empower your life, get clarity, and live the best life possible according to what you want out of life. So thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned for the next video and I'll see you next time.